Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, select these line layers and let's see. Okay, right mouse, pre-compass, add name lines. Click OK. Go to layer, new and create null object. For move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pan behind icon. And select new layer, let's move to center. And select all layers and compositions. Let's link to null layer. Select null and press P. Let's enable title action save. Move to down. Let's create new passing Q frame and go to 10 Q frames. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard. Or let me show other way, click time duration and write plus 10. Click OK. And let's move to up. OK, go to 10 Q frames again. Move to down. Again, go to 10 Q frames. Move to up. Again, 10 Q frames. Move to down and again, move to up. And last one, move to down like this. So select two frames, make easy ease or click F9. Let's preview animation. Okay, so select two frames, right mouse and two frame interpolation. Change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Nice. And in this time, let's go to first second. Hold shift, press S, open scale and create new scale two frame. Let's click this icon and change scale like this and go to next few frame chain scale 110 okay and this scale change 9 to 5 go to next few frame and change 9 to 5 and this 105 go to next few frame again change 102 and this 100 and next few frame change 100 percent so there are more two frames for more bounce animation select two frames make easy and preview animation okay that's good so in this time go to first second let's hold shift press r make rotation two frame chain rotation 25 and go to 10 two frames change minus 10 and next few frame change 5 and next few frame change minus 2.5 and next few frame change 1.5 and last few frame change minus 0 0.5 and last few frame here change 0 and make few frames easy let's preview okay that's good so in this time Let's close these two frame settings and go to pen tool and let's make simple line stroke. Okay, and let's click session tool, go to fill, let's click here and select none for turn off inside color, click OK, go to stroke width, change color white. Okay, and move to right this layer. Go to add and use trim path. Open trim path one here. Change and zero. Make end Q frame and go to five Q frames. Change 100. And go to back. Create start Q frame. Go to some Q frames and change 100. And select work area. Select Q frames. Make easy. Let's see. Okay. And for smooth end lines open shape one stroke one and i want to make smooth line go to bed cup to round cup nice let's see okay so select shape layer press u for c only active q frames and select end q frame of the right okay we can change stroke width here let's preview animation nice and select shape layer let's link to null layer and in this time let's link to null let's see 
Okay, not bad. Let's control D for duplicate. Move to right. Okay, very nice. And this time, let's open line conversations and select all these lines. Go to window and animation compare 3 anchor point mover. Let's click this anchor for move the anchor points left to all them. Okay. And go to first second, press S, select line 1. Let's click this icon and go to here. Let's create scale Q frame. Go to back and change and change scale 0. Make Q frames easy. And go to graph editor, make smooth graph. Let's see. Back to Q-Frames, select last Q-Frame, move to right. Okay, and select these scale Q-Frames, let's copy. And select all these layers, and go to first second, let's control V for past Q-Frames, let's see. Okay, so in this time, let's go to here, select this layer 1, let's see. Okay, let's move to right for step-by-step -step animation. And these layers, let's move to right fast. Okay, and these layers and this. Let's preview animation. Nice. And back to main composition. Let's see here. Okay, move to right these lines. Okay, very good. And select this null object. Let's press S and create new scale Q frame. Go to fave Q frames and change scale 110 and this 110. Okay, go to graph editor, select this graph. Let's zoom into graph. Make smooth animation. And for this green line. Okay, back to Q-frames. And in this time, select these layers. Let's select shape layers and lock layers. Also select these lines, lock. Select shape layers and create random animations. Let's press S, click this icon, make scale Q-frame, move to right. And go to here, change scale 0. Make your frames easy. Go to graph editor and make smooth graph. Okay, so let's do this fast. So guys, final. Let's create background elements, and first select all these layers and close settings. Let's go to project and create new composition, add name, background, elements and click OK go to shape layer, hold this pen tool and hold shift, make one line like this and click tool, let's open insights, contents, shape 1 and stroke 1, change bat cup to run cup and let's select this point and move to left and this point move to right and in this time as you can see your dashes let's click this plus button for add dashes and change dashes like this and let's add new dashes here again and change gap okay and change dashes and again let's add new dashes and change for random dashes like this in this time, let's hold Alt, click Offset Keyframe for add expression and right here, time 2000. And let's see. Okay, this is very fast. Let's change this minus 1000. Okay, that's good. And select this shape layer 1, go to Add and let's use Repeater. Open Repeater and open Inside and change this zero, change zero and change like this, let's see. Okay, and change copies like this and move to up. 
Okay, not bad. So in this time, let's back to main conversation and select these background elements. Let's drag and drop to conversation. Okay, let's see. And press R, change rotation and click this icon and open background elements and change copies like this. And let's move to left like this for full screen. Okay, and go to FS Presses, search FX Gradient Ramp. Select Gradient Ramp, let's use for background elements. And change color blue. And this color, select blue and change like this. And change ramp shape radial. And move to down these points. Click swap colors. Okay, let's see nice so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck